Hi, today we're going to take a look at how to subtract mixed numbers and fractions step by step. Let's start with a quick review. A mixed number, like this one, is the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. Also, a proper fraction is a fraction where the numerator, the top number, is less than the denominator, the bottom number. Two-fifths is a proper fraction, given that the numerator, two, is less than the denominator, five. Nice! Are you ready for the first example? In this example, we need to subtract 6 and 2 fifths minus 1 third. We need to subtract a fraction from a mixed number. Pay attention, the key to solve this problem is to remember that a mixed number is the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. So first, we're going to rewrite the mixed number 6 and 2 fifths as the sum of a whole number, 6 in this case, and a proper fraction. The proper fraction will be 2 fifths. Nice! We rewrote the mixed number 6 and 2 fifths as the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. That's it. Then we have the minus sign and we continue with the fraction 1 third. Once again, we put 6 plus, 6 plus, and now we need to subtract 2 fifths minus 1 third. These two fractions have different denominators. To find the difference, we need the least common multiple of the denominators or the least common denominator. The denominators that we have are 5 and 3. So we put 5 and 3. The first multiples of 5 are 5, then comes 10, then we have 15, then comes 20, that is correct, 25, 30, and so on. The first multiples of 3 are 3, then we have 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and so on. The smallest number that we can find on both lists is 15. Then 15 is the least common denominator. Now, for each fraction, we need an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 15. 15? Let's start with 2 fifths. By what number should we multiply 5 to get 15? By 3, because 5 times 3 gives us 15. Whatever we do to the bottom, we must do to the top. And 2 times 3 gives us 6. Let's continue with 1 third. 1 third. By what number should we multiply 3 to get 15? By 5, because 3 times 5 gives us 15. Whatever we do to the bottom, we must do to the top, and 1 times 5 gives us 5. 1 third and 5 fifteenths are equivalent fractions. They represent the same value. Don't forget the minus sign, and we continue with 6 plus, 6 plus, and now we need to subtract 6 fifteenths minus 5 fifteenths. These two fractions have the same denominator. We have 15 on the left, 15 on the right. We can put 15 on this side and we continue by subtracting the numerators. And 6 minus 5 gives us 1. Here we have the sum of 6 and 1 fifteenth. Here we have the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. Hold on. The sum of a whole number and a proper fraction? That is the definition of a mixed number. So finally, we are going to rewrite the sum of 6 and 1 fifteenth as a mixed number 6 and 1 fifteenth. Perfect! Therefore, 6 and 2 fifths minus 1 third give us 6 and 1 fifteenth. Let's move on to another example. In this example, we need to subtract 5 and 3 fourths minus 1 half. Once again, we're going to subtract a mixed number and a fraction. Let's start by rewriting the mixed number 5 and 3 fourths as the sum of a whole number, 5 in this case, and a proper fraction. The proper fraction will be 3 fourths. 3 fourths. We rewrote the mixed number 5 and 3 fourths as the sum of a whole number, 5, and a proper fraction, 3 fourths. Then we have the minus sign and the fraction 1 half. Once again, we put 5 plus, and now we need to subtract these two fractions with unlike denominators. So we need the least common denominator. The denominators that we have are 4 and 2. We put over here 4 and 2. The first multiples of 4 are 4, then comes 8, then we have 12, 16, 20, and so on. The first multiples of 2 are 2, then we have 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. The smallest number that we can find on both places is 4. Then 4 is the least common denominator. Next, for each fraction we need an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 4. Let's start with 3 fourths, but hold on, this fraction already has a denominator of 4, so we don't need to make any changes. We just put the same fraction, 3 fourths, 3 fourths, then comes the minus sign, and let's continue with 1 half. By what number should we multiply 2 to get 4? By 2, great, 
2 times 2 give us 4. Whatever we do to the bottom, we must do to the top. And 1 times 2 give us 2. 5 plus, 5 plus, now 3 fourths minus 2 fourths. These two fractions have the same denominator. We have 4 on the left, 4 on the right. We can put 4 on this side and we continue by subtracting the numerators. And 3 minus 2 give us 1. 1. Here we have the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. That is the definition of a mixed number. So finally, we're going to rewrite the sum of 5 and 1 fourth as a mixed number 5 and 1 fourth. That is correct. We can rewrite the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction as a mixed number. Therefore, 5 and 3 fourths minus 1 half give us 5 and 1 fourth. That's all for today. If you want to learn more about this topic, check out this playlist. And here you have another video. Have a good one and see you next lesson. Bye!